joy. And our friend, the Reverend Dr. Stephen Sizer, other one, better known as Stephen. In the Titanic. <laughs> in the Titanic, which is, um, and they have a beer here called Doom, which I thought I, I didn't get it. I got, Doom, I got bar. This Doom Bar. Yeah, I deliberately got London, um, Pride. London Pride instead. I thought they were a little less foreboding. Um, but it's called Titanic because this is where the Titanic sailed from. Yes. It's very disturbing, isn't it? To say, if you want to get really trashed, <laughs> this is the place to come, I think. Um, Southampton. UK. UK, thank you. Uh, uh, Stephen's an old friend, and we've, we've been... We've been in trouble together. Yeah, we've been in trouble we've together. Caused we've trouble together. We've both been disowned by our respective dioceses <laughs> and um, both become notorious in our own way. And I think both because, well, in your case in particular, I think because you've just followed your conscience and um, you've done some wonderful work, particularly in the terms of... Um, for the rights of the Palestinian people. Uh, your history of the ministry in the Middle East, I think, has always been an inspiration for me. And, uh, I still remember us being in Iran together, and um, yeah, I mean, your history in that area is so much better than mine, but you're continuing that work, despite the problems you've had with the diocese and everything, you're continuing that work. Definitely, I mean, God put something in your heart then, um, as, as the Apostle Paul says, I'm impelled, you know, yeah. I don't have a choice. Yeah. I must serve my Lord as he calls and as he directs and as he equips. And, you know, if doors close, I don't push on them. I wait for the door, other doors to open and God opens other doors. You know, about two weeks after um, the Church of England decided to withdraw my permission to officiate to be a preacher in Anglican services. I got an opportunity to preach in the open air in London. The Al Quds Day, uh, we had about 14,000 people. It was outside number 10 Downing Street. And I preached on Psalm 87. What kind of Jerusalem do you want? What's your vision? Is it an ISIS Jerusalem? Do you want to substitute a Zionist one for an ISIS one? Or is it going to be a tolerant city uh, that welcomes all? So I just expanded Psalm 87 in the open air to about 14,000 people. Fantastic. Weeks after I'd just been banned from preaching in the Church of England. It was quite, you know, God has a sense of humour. Well, you, you reminded me that only this morning we were looking at this quote. You mentioned about doors opening and closing. The full quote, when one door is closed, there's another open, actually goes back to Alexander Graham Bell. The quote ends by saying, but we often look so long and so regretfully at the closed door that we do not see the one which is open for us. Mm. And that's exactly true. That's very true. Yeah. So you've gone through the open door. I do. I do. And um, I'd rather be proactive than reactive. Reactive is looking back, wondering about what people think of me. Uh, yeah. You know, they're upset with what I've done. Well, I'd rather be proactive and make them reactive than always be thinking about what the consequences will be. Uh, you know, self-censorship is, is a great curse in Christian ministry. What will people think of me? Should I say that? Well, God will hold us accountable when we fail to speak out where we see injustice, where we see people suffering, uh, where we don't try and support and help them. So it's Peacemakers? Peacemaker Trust is the charity we set up a few years ago, peacemakers.ngo, and uh, we use that as a vehicle to help fund my uh, ministry as I continue to seek to serve the Lord in a, in a retired capacity. And we're going to see if we can do a series again next year. That's, that's the, I want to so burn out rather all than of rust up. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that. Burn out rather than rust up. Yeah, I remember some missionary saying, Lord, let me burn out here. You know, this is the. <laughs> but not yet. No. Not yet. Still got a few more rounds left in you. Mm. Well, I might